Hello and welcome to a new episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host Chris as usual and in this episode I'm going to be uh, restoring uh, this little fella here. He is of course a uh, vintage Kenner R2-D2 figure from Star Wars. If you like what you see don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and why not subscribe to the channel. Um, it'll be excellent to have you and it helps us out a great deal. Um, there are other uh, Star Wars vintage restoration videos and um, there's a playlist on the channel. Check that out if you'd like to. Now this little guy means a lot to me. Um, R2 was always one of my favourite uh, characters from Star Wars as a kid and the action figure uh, was absolutely one of my favourites as well. Um, I know I definitely lost one playing uh, out of it in the garden, probably making a, a, a Dagobah style uh, mud in the dirt and um, lost him um, and had to get a new one. Now there were basically three R2 figures that were produced. The first one uh, was just a uh, solid dome uh, from the first film. The second one, uh, which is this one, has the uh, sensor scope uh, that comes up from his head and the third one uh, had the uh, Luke's lightsaber that popped up um, as it did in Return of the Jedi. Um, there was another one which was you could put it together it had the, the third leg that comes out as well um, which was part of the it came with the droid factory play set but there were basically three uh, that came uh, sort of carded separately. Now I must apologise at this point in the video, it was only when I came uh, to edit the footage together that I realised I hadn't actually taken any uh, close-up uh, footage of R2 um, as he was before I took him apart, uh, which is why I've had to uh, just insert the photograph that I had taken that showed how dirty and how yellow he was. So apologies for that, uh, we now return you to your regular scheduled programming. As you can see, this guy's um, a little bit worse for wear. I mean, he's, you know, sort of 40 odd years old. He's incredibly filthy for a start. Um, hopefully that should be uh, quite easy uh, to remedy with a bath. The sticker is looking really shabby. You can see it's all a bit, it's a bit been rubbed off. Um, it's a problem um, R2 uh, and that was R5, D4, the other droid had these stickers on them uh, and obviously played with his kids, you know, say, played in the garden. They tend not to be in a very good state of repair these days. And as you can see where the sticker isn't uh, covering him up, his body has gone uh, this horrible sort of nicotine shade of yellow um, over, over time. Hopefully we'll get rid of that with, with the old trusty hydrogen peroxide. So the first thing we need to do with R2 um, is get him cleaned up a bit, so we will have to take him apart. So as you can see, there's just a screw up inside his body there that we just need to undo. Just sort of hold his head still. There we go, there's this little screw. Uh, usually sometimes these are quite rusty um, and I will put them in uh, some vinegar uh, to clean them up, but that one's actually not looking too bad at all. So here's R2 now that the screw is out. So the head uh, just comes off. Um, you've got this section inside. This is the piece that um, makes, him, makes his head click. It quite often gets broken, but this one is in uh, full working order. And then his legs uh, just pop up at the top here. You can see, um, absolutely filthy in there. And that one just comes out as well. Yeah, it's all quite grubby. So first thing we are going to do um, is give him a wash and get this sticker off. So you can see all the parts after they've been washed and dried off. And as you can see, the legs are looking a lot better already. Um, all of that dirt has come out, all the sort of little uh, little crevices that are in there. Um, the sticker come off completely. That was really easy. You can now see uh, the contrast, the yellow uh, there on the outside. It definitely looks, I don't know if it's been in a house where there's a smoker or something, but it looks a quite sort of nicotine-y colour. Um, the screw in the end, I did just soak it in some WD-40. Um, just say there wasn't a lot of rust on there, but that has cleared that up nicely. So the next thing we need to do here is hydrogen peroxide. As I've said before in my other videos, you can buy this in the UK, uh, boots the chemist, and get, but I just asked for it behind the counter, it's only about a pound a bottle. Uh, just chuck all the bits in there. Uh, as long as the jar is see-through and has a uh, sort of airtight seal, and then that can just go out into the uh, sunshine. Uh, 
Okay, so here you can see all the pieces fresh out of their hydrogen peroxide bath. In the end, the legs were only in there for um, a couple of hours. Um, say most of what was on them was dirt, which uh, which came off uh, just in the wash, and then um, it's just the uh, hydrogen peroxide has just nicely whitened them off. The very yellow uh, sort of nicotine color on the body. Um, this bo the body was actually in the hydrogen peroxide um, for sort of two whole days. Um, we had some nice sunny weather here in the UK for once. Um, as you can see, that's pretty much got it all off completely. So it's all looking really nice. Now, as I said before, I just washed off the head, didn't put it in hydrogen peroxide. I'm not sure what the uh, the vacuum form metal, what it would do to that. I might do some experiments um, later on uh, when if I get hold of another one. Now, the next thing then to do before it gets reassembled is uh, putting the uh, sticker on. And I've got this reproduction sticker here. You can download these, uh, just Google it, you can download them off the internet if you want to print them out onto your own sticky paper and cut them out. Uh, this one uh, I just got off eBay, um, I think they're only about 99p. In fact, this one came to me, I bought some reproduction stickers for the uh, Nellian Falcon that I restored, uh, which you can check out on the channel as well. And uh, the guy chucked in uh, some uh, R2 and R5D4 stickers as well. So um, yep, first, so next thing to do is just to um, stick the sticker back on the body. So I'm going to try and get this done um, in front of the camera, um, which is not the easiest thing in the world with my setup. But we'll go for about there-ish, I think. No, that's not going to go. Perhaps we'll line up then the... There we go. Might just need to come down a fraction. I say apologies, it's not the easiest thing to do on camera. So I'll just bring that down. And the same on the back. There we go. So next thing in is the legs uh, just slot in the sides. So he's now looking like that. And uh, then uh, the bit that the makes him click goes on next. And uh, that just fits back in uh, like, uh, like so. Then the head goes on. Make sure his sort of sensor eye is around the front. And then the screw uh, will just go into the hole there. And there he is, all finished, looking a lot better than he did when we started. All the yellow is practically gone. He's looking much, much cleaner and nicer. And here's R2 back to looking his best with all of his vintage Kenner droid buddies. Hope like what you've seen. If you've got some vintage Kenner figures, why not try uh, sprucing them up yourself? It's quite easy to do, as you can see. Um, until next time, eat, geek, and be merry.